Well, meanwhile, CB24's Rena here joins us now live with more on an event going on that is perfect for the return of winter temperatures. Rena? Is it ever? Unless you're standing around like I am. And then it's just cold out here, Devin. We're at Nathan Phillips Square. There's a great event underway here this afternoon. It's called Skate to Great. And basically, all you have to do is bring down a pair of gently used skates, whatever you've got, maybe lying around your home. And uh, what these guys will do is they will take your skates and they will further them to a deserving cause. And one of the causes being supported is Courage to Canada, or uh, Courage in Canada, what's it called? Courage, Courage Canada, that's it. All right, now you're looking at Paul Poyer and uh, this is Piper Gillies. And the two of them are third in Canada right now. They're figure skaters. They know how important it is to be able to get a great pair of skates when you're starting out, especially when you're a young child. And this is something you're passionate about. Joining me now is Evan Kosner. He is one of the organizers here. So great event today. You've had some people show up, but this isn't it. You can uh, donate throughout the month. You can for sure. So if you can't make it out tonight, uh, between now and 8 p.m., we're going to be here at Nathan Phillips Square, and we really encourage you to come out and fill this rink. But you can also go to any Lowe's in the GTA and uh, drop it off at any of the 10 locations. Just go to customer service, and they'll be happy to help you out. You drop them off, and they'll also go to Courage Canada. All right. Now, Piper and Paul are having a fun time out there, and they're dance dancing on ice. I mean, that's incredible. I have a tough time uh, keeping rhythm on, um, on regular flooring. Anyways, come on over, guys. Hi. Let's talk to you about uh, the event and why you are supporting this event in particular. Oh, this event is amazing. I mean, it gives a chance, all these kids an amazing chance to come out here and skate. I mean, we enjoy skating every day. I mean, why shouldn't other kids? So, I mean, I think that's probably the best reason for us to come mm -hmm. out today. Yeah, skating is, you know, such an essential part of our lives and such an essential part of Canadian culture. And it gives a kids a chance to have fun, to exercise, and to learn so many life lessons. And we think that's an opportunity that every kid should have. So it's just such a great cause, and we're so happy to be part of it. All right, now you two, figure skaters, third in Canada, incredible amount of talent here. Do you mind skating for us a little bit more so our viewers at home will have a chance to watch you? And when did you start skating? skating um just like skating skating or together skating when you were a wee little one um i play, started playing hockey when i was three and figure skating when i was five so yeah i started when i was two and a half so a little baby oh wow yeah. so you started really young we, yeah no go ahead um do some tricks we would love to see you and even when you look around this uh rink uh devin you get a chance to see all these great little kids who are having such a fun time a lot of them hi a lot of them taking some spills, but really just having a wonderful time. And as a parent, I can tell you, getting kids into skates is very expensive, especially when you have to change them up pretty much every year. Now, if you're one of those parents who has a bunch of uh, old skates just hanging around the house, they're in your garage or they're in your attic and they're just gathering dust, this is a great place to bring them. Skate to great, and they will pass them on to deserving and, uh, you know, kids who actually do need them and will make good use of them. Back to you. All right, figure skating decidedly more difficult when there's uh, a lot of incoming traffic. Uh, not too bad, though. All right, thanks very much, Rena.